Hi boys and girls, how are you all? It's Coach Paul and today I am in your PE hall ready to take you through a fun PE lesson with games and exercises that we can definitely do at home because it's so important even though we're at home that we still stay active, still stay healthy and still have fun. Okay, so this, the, the, class, the class today, we're going to do a game called North, South, East, West which we've done loads of times in school before which I know you all love. We're then we're going to, that's our warm up game, and then we're going to go into um, a 15 minute hip workout. So, hip stands for high intensity interval training. So, it's going to be some exercises where you're going to work for a couple of seconds and then rest for a couple of seconds, okay? And then we're going to go in at the end and we're going to work on our throwing, our catching, and our striking. So, if I ever need you to go and get some items, all you have to do when I call out the items, even write them down, pause the video. Go and get the items and bring them back and then on pause the video again, okay? So, you'll need to get four items. For this first game, you'll need four items. So, north, south, east, west, you get four items. They can be four pairs of socks, they can get, be four pillows, they can be anything. As long as you get four items, a remote control, anything. And what I want you to do, I want you to make the four directions. So, I want you to put north in front of you, so just set it on the ground. I want you to get south, put south behind you. Okay, I want you to get the third one, which is going to be east, put that to the right of you, and I want you to get the fourth one, which is west, and put that to the left of you. So you've got north, south, east, and west. Okay, does anyone remember the rain that I taught you all to remember it by? Anyone? So there's two rains. So the first one is naughty elephants squirt water, the second one is never eat shredded wheat. So if you ever have trouble remembering where you have to go, just remember, naughty elephants squirt water or never eat straight up weight, okay? So it's just a way to try and remember where we have to go. So, this is our warm up game, okay? And all I have to do, we're gonna stand in the middle, okay? And every, every one I shoot out, we have to run around it and come back into the middle. So for example, I'm gonna get ready, and if I shoot out north, I want you to run around north, I want you to come back in the middle. Okay, and that's it. And then we're gonna have some races. You're gonna have me a race, all right? So, get ready, so go into the middle. Again, before we start, you can pause this at any time. So don't be thinking you have to keep following. Pause it, take a break, and go again, okay? As long as you complete the whole PE lesson. All right, boys and girls? Okay, so, once you have set up, let's start. So just jog on the spot, and listen out for my instructions. Okay, so run to north, so it's out front of you, back in. Good. Run to south, behind. Good, well done. Run to east, where's east? It's the right. Good, and where's west? It's the left. Good, back in. Good, well done. Okay, give me a big stretch up. Big stretch up, up your tiptoes. Good, can you touch the ground as well? Good, put one hand on your left leg, on your left foot. Put the other hands on your right foot, just like this. Big stretch up again. Good, okay, jog on the spot again. So here we go. Can you run around east? Good, back in. West? Good, back in. North? Good, back in the middle. And south? Good, well done, well done. Okay, now this time I'm gonna call it two after one another, so I may shout north, south. And whenever when I shoot, that's where you have to run around, okay? So if I shoot north, south, go around north, go around south, back in the middle. Okay, so start, jog, and north, south, let's go. Back in, good. East, west, back in. Good, well done. North, east, north, east, good. Well done, north, west, good, back in the middle. And then west, south, good, back in the middle, and freeze. Well done. Okay, so if you want, you can pause it, get a break, get a drink. I'm just gonna carry on, I'm gonna get a drink and carry on. Good, okay, so this time you're gonna have me a race, okay? So you're gonna have me a race, so whoever runs around the cone that I shoot the fastest and back in the middle wins, and that's it. So if I say north, out and run around north, back in the middle fast, all right? So we start, here we go. Well done, and north, let's go. Back in, good. East, good. West, back in, and south. Well done, good. 
Great end, well done. Okay, so we're going to warm up now, so we're going to go straight into our hip workout. Okay, so what I want you to do, I want you to get a towel because you make it sweaty and make sure you have some water, okay? So well done, and we're going to go straight into our hip workout. Well done. Alright, so boys and girls, now we're well warmed up, so now we're going to get into our hit session. So hit stands for high intensity interval training, and we're going to work for 15 minutes straight. Now the way this is going to work is we're going to do an exercise for 20 seconds and then we're also going to rest for 30 seconds straight after that. So we have fat, set, set, like seven exercises all in and we're going to do two rounds of that. So all the guy works out about 15, about 14, 15 minutes. Okay, now I want you to try and push yourself. If you feel as if you're getting sore or you feel dizzy or anything, just sit down, pause the video, sit down until you're ready to go again, and then come back and do it again. But try and push yourself, see how long you can go, see how long you can go, okay? Um, and I am not going to stop this video, it's just going to be continuous for 15 minutes. Um, but again, as I keep saying, pause the video if you feel as if you need to take a break, pause the video, take a break, get a drink of water, and then come back in and then start up again, okay? So, as I said, 20 seconds work, 30 seconds rest. So this one we're going to be working less than we're actually resting. And then over the course of the next few weeks, once we get a wee bit fitter, we can actually work more than we actually rest. All right, so we'll, we'll switch it around, we'll reverse it. But we need to keep doing this each week. And the more we do it, the more our bodies will get used to it and adapt to it, okay? So our first exercise is jogging on the spot. So these are going to be simple exercises that you can definitely do, okay? Our first exercise is jogging on the spot, okay? For 20 seconds. Um, so you just follow me when I say stop, stop. I'll try and work out over the next course of a few weeks how to get timers up onto the video. So we'll try and work that out. But for now, when I stop, just you stop, okay? Okay, here we go. After three, one, two, three, go. Jog on the spot. Good, 20 seconds. Keep it going. Good, 10 seconds gone. Let's go, keep going. Keep going, move your arms. 15 seconds, five seconds left. Keep going. Keep going, good, and freeze. Okay, we're resting for 30 seconds now. Okay, so just get your breather, get your breathing right. Even have a drink in between, okay? So 30 seconds rest. Okay, so the more we do it, the more you will get a breath and we're just ready. Our next exercise is star jumps, okay? So 20 seconds of star jumps. Okay, here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go. 20 seconds star jumps. Good, keep it going. Good, well done, come up to 10 seconds. Good, keep it going. Good, 15 seconds gone. Five seconds left. Keep it going, boys and girls, keep it going. And rest. Good, well done. So another 30 seconds rest. Well done, keep it going, boys and girls. Our next one, all we're doing is just standing and we're just punching them out. Okay, 20 seconds of punches, all right? So keep it going. If you want, get a drink of water and come straight back in. But again, you can pause this anytime and then just start up again, okay? Another five seconds left. So this one is punches, all right? Well done. So here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, 20 seconds of punches. So just punch out in front of you, punch out. Good, even go in there. Step your leg out in front of you and just punch out. Good, well done. Very good, keep it going. You can even stand like this if you want. Two feet together and just punch out. I'm gonna stand like this. Okay, keep it going. Five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and freeze. Good, get your 30 seconds rest. Have a drink if you want the game, okay? Keep it going. So our next one is squats, okay? So we're just going to, arms out for a balance, feet width apart. Shoulder width apart, and you're just squatting down like this, okay? So it should look like this from the side. All right, so 20 seconds of squats. Well done, 10 seconds left the rest. Keep it going, boys and girls. Good, so we're going to do another two rounds of this, okay? Okay, let's go in there, squat. So 20 seconds, arms out, and then let's go. Just squat down. Good, good. Well done, keep your back straight, keep your back straight. Don't arch your back like this. Keep your back straight and pretend you're sitting down on a chair. Okay, pretend you're sitting down, keep your arm down for your balance. Good, keep it going. Keep going, five seconds, five, 
four, three, two, one, and freeze. Well done. You may get a drink of water. Get a drink. It's 30 seconds left. 30 seconds of it. Keep going, boys and girls. You're doing so well. So our next exercise, where we're waiting, we're going to come over to one side, and we're just going to skip sideways, touch the ground, skip back over, touch the ground. Okay? So you're just skipping side to side. 20 seconds, 5 seconds left. Here we go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so let's skip. Two skips to the side. Touch the ground, skip. Good. Just make sure you touch the ground. Two skips to the side. One, two, good. Keep going, 10 seconds left. Good, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, and one. And freeze. Well done. Good. So that's our fifth exercise. With two more exercises, our next exercise, which is going to be a wee bit harder, okay? So what you have to do, put your feet together, arms out, and these are called walkers. Okay, so put your hands down, walk out like this, walk back in, big stretch up. And then go again, okay? So, 20 seconds of walkers, okay? So well done, keep it going. We're doing really well. So five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, arms up the sky, and then on the ground, walk out. Good. Back up, walk out. Back up, stay in the one spot. Good, keep going. 10 seconds left. Walk out. Very good. Keep going, boys and girls. Come on, keep it going. Push yourself. Push yourself to see how much you can do. Come on, five, four, three. Give me one more. Two, one, and freeze. Well done. Well done. So our next exercise is jogging and pulling the rope. So all you do is jogging on the spot, and you're reaching up to the sky, and pretend you're pulling down the rope. Okay? So well done, this is our last exercise. We're going to take a minute break and then we're going to go straight back in and do one more round. Okay? So well done, keep it going. You're doing really well. Keep it going, everyone. So we're going to be jogging and putting in the rope. Alright? So here we go after five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to jog, pull the rope. Let's go, come on. 20 seconds. Keep going, so this is it from the side, okay? Keep going, keep staying on the one spot, pull. 10 seconds to go, come on, keep going. 10, nine, eight, seven, keep going. Four, three, two, one, and three. Well done, boys and girls, absolutely brilliant. So, you are going to start getting out of breath, you are starting to go to sweat, if you put your hand on your chest, you'll feel your heart rate. Your heart rate's very high at the minute, okay? But that's good, that's how you know it's working, okay? It's only when you start to feel dizzy, or you feel as if you've went over on your ankle, or you'll, you'll know yourself, that's when you need to sit down, okay? But if you're not feeling it, if you're just feeling out of breath, and you feel a wee bit sweaty, that's good, keep it going, okay? That's how you know that it's taking effect, all right? So well done. Right now, we're gonna do one more round, okay? One more round. So if you want, you can pause it now, so you can pause it, go and get a drink, have a minute break, and just go straight back into it, okay? But you can pause it, have a minute break, and then start up again, okay? So I'm just going to go straight back into it. Doing so well. Okay, so now, during this one, in our breaks, I have asked Mr. McGoldrick and Mr. Parry to give me some questions then I'm going to ask you and you have to go back and give them the answers, okay? It's only stuff that you would, that you would know, that nobody else would probably know, okay? So I'm going to shoot the, the questions. If you want, you can shoot them out, you can pause it, write them down, and then you can back and say to Mr. McGoldry and Mr. Parry um, what the answers are, okay? They're fun questions, all right? So I'm just going to go straight back into it. So once you're ready, unpause it, and can straight back into it again, okay? So the first one is jogging on the spot, okay? So jogging on the spot, okay? And then the first question, the first question is, which county is Mr. Parry from? 
which county is Mr. Parry from? So write the answer down, okay? Which county is Mr. Parry from? I know that one. Okay, so first one is jumping, so let's go. Jump on the spot, 20 seconds. Let's go, keep it going. Let's push ourselves, everyone. Keep it going, boys and girls, let's go. 10 seconds to go. Good. Well done, five seconds. Good, keep going, move your arms, keep your legs right up. And freeze, well done. Good, okay, next exercise is star jumps. Okay, so 20 seconds of star jumps. All right, so we have, we have 10 seconds or 20 seconds left to rest. Doing so well. Keep it going. So our first question is, which county is Mr. Parry from? I'll give you the second question after this break. Okay, so let's star jumps. Next one is star jumps. Here we go, five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. 20 seconds of star jumps. Let's go, come on, keep going. Well done. Get your breathing right. Good, keep going, keep pushing yourself, everyone. Keep it going. Five seconds left, five, four, three, two, one, and freeze. Well done. So, the next question. Who does Mr. Parry blame for the loss of his hair? Who does Mr. Parry blame for the loss of his hair? I think only Mr. Parry's pupils in the loved one. So who is he blame for the loss of all his hair? You have to go back and say it, huh? Okay, you have to go back and say it, huh? So our next exercise is punches. So we're just standing. You can stand with two feet together and you can punch out in front of you or you can stand with one foot in front of the other and punch out like this, okay? So that question was, who does Mr. Parry blame for the loss of his hair? Okay? So here we go, five seconds, then we're in there, punches. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, so punch out, 20 seconds. Good, okay, you can stand two feet together and punch out if you want, and you'll stand one foot in front of the other. Okay, keep punching, come on, keep going boys and girls. Keep it going, 10 seconds to go, come on. Keep going, good. Keep your breathing right, keep going, five, four, three, two, one, and freeze. Well done. Brilliant. You're doing so well, keep it going. And again, if you want, you can pause it, take a minute break, it's up to you, and then get a drink, come straight back in. But I'm gonna keep it going, okay? So keep going. So our first two questions is, which county is Mr. Parry from? And who does Mr. Parry blame for the loss of his heart? Okay, so we make those down and go back and say him when you come back into school, okay? So, our next exercise is squats. So again, squats, I want you to put your arms out for your balls, put your, your feet shoulder width apart, okay? And all you're doing is thinking that you have to sit down on the chair behind you. So you have to sit down like this, okay? Try and keep your head up as well, don't be rounding your back. So this is it from the side, arms out, and squat down like this. Okay, so 20 seconds of squats. Let's go, come on, we're doing really well. Okay, so here we go, five, four, three, two, one, let's go, 20 seconds of squats, arms out, and then to squat down. Good, good, well done, keep it going. Well done, good, we're doing really well. That's it from the side, keep going boys and girls. Good, five seconds left. Five, middle couple, four, three, two, and freeze. Well done. So as I said, you may start getting a breath, you may start that you're starting to sweat a bit, but that's okay. Put your hands on your chest, you feel your heart rate escalating as well, but that's okay. As long as you're not sore, as long as any bones or joints aren't sore, you're okay. Keep it going. So our next question, our next question is, who is the candy snatcher? So who is the candy snatcher? I'll be honest, I don't even know these. So you all know them, so who is the candy snatcher? So I want you to write that one down as well. So we've got three questions so far. Which county is Mr. Parry from? Who does Mr. Parry play for the loss of his hair? And who is the candy snatcher? Okay, write those down, all right? So <laughs> candy snatcher? All right, so our next exercise is, is skip to the side. So remember, one part of the room, two skips, touch the ground. Just like this, okay? So here we go, five seconds more rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go, skip, touch, skip, touch. You do two skips if you want, two small skips, 
Okay, we're gonna do one big skip, okay? Just like this. Do two skips if you want, or one big small, or one, one big skip. Come on, keep it going. Good. Keep it going. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and freeze. Boys and girls, you're doing so well. We've got two more exercises left, two more exercises left, two more. Come on, keep it going. You're doing really well. Okay, so our next exercise is walkouts. So remember when we stood way up tall, and then put your hands on the ground, and walk out like this. Keep your knees off the ground. Don't let your knees touch. Big stretch up, walk out again, okay? Walk back in, so 20 seconds of walkouts. Come on, keep it going. Okay, so here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, big stretch up. Hands on the ground, walk out. Good, back in. Good, stand up tall, back in. Good, come on, keep going, keep pushing. Walk out, stand up tall, walk out again. Well done, come on, keep going. Five seconds left. Good, give me another one. Good, okay, give me one more, let's go, one more. Come on, and then freeze. Well done. Very good. So boys and girls, the more we do this over the next few weeks, the fitter we're going to get, okay? So it's really important that you try and push yourself the whole way through the lesson, okay? Try and push yourself. So we've got one more question. One more question is, um, what teacher loves listening to the Space Girls? So what teacher <laughs> loves listening to the Space Girls? So write that one down as well, boys and girls. <laughs> space Girls. So we've got four questions, okay? We've got which county is Mr. Parry from? Who does Mr. Parry blame for the loss of his hair? Who is the candy snatcher? And what teacher loves listening to the Space Girls? That's our four questions. Okay, so if you know the answers, come back in, send them through on Seesaw or to Mr. McGoldy or Mr. Parry, and then let me know. Let me, I need to fade out the answers myself. So well done. All right, so I've got one more exercise left, and all this is jogging and pulling the rope, okay? So you jog on the spot and pulling the rope, all right? So last exercise, you've done so, so well, boys and girls. Obviously, I'm extremely proud of you all, so keep it going. So here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to jog and just pull the rope down, okay? Let's go, big stretch up. Feel a stretch on your lats. So see these muscles here, okay? Big stretch up. Good. Keep it going, come on. 10 seconds left. Keep going, 10, 9, 8, 7, keep going, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and freeze. Boys and girls, absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. So as I said, you may start feeling a bit sweaty with your breath, heart rate's racing, but that's okay. That's how you know that it's worth. Well done if you push yourself through that. Well done. For our first one, that was, that was pretty intense as well. So well done. Over the next course of a few weeks, we'll start making the, 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 the seconds that we work out a wee bit longer and the seconds that we rest a wee bit shorter, okay? Because that will challenge us. So well done. Absolutely brilliant. So what I want you to do now, I want you to go get a drink of water and then come back in. So pause the video, go get a drink of water, come back in and we're going to work on our throwing and our catching. Okay, so well done everybody, absolutely brilliant. Okay, so boys and girls, for this one, you're gonna need a pair of socks and you're gonna need a large towel as well. Okay, so if you get yourself a pair of socks and a large towel. So you can pause the video, go and get them, bring them back, and then you can all pause the video and start. So a pair of socks and a large towel. So with our socks, I need you to make them into a tight ball, okay? So scrunch them up into a tight ball, okay? So they don't come apart. And then our first one, all we're gonna do is throw the socks up and catch the socks 10 times. Now, I want the socks to go above your head and when you're catching the socks, I want you to make your hands into a bit of a bucket, okay? So when the socks come down, you can catch them. Now, make sure you use soft hands. And what that means is, so when the socks go up, don't be letting the socks hit your hands and fall out. So even come down with your socks as well, okay? Nice and soft, as if like you're holding a bird. Okay, so when it comes down, and catch, okay, let's do 10 of those. All right, so here we go, throw it up, catch, there's one, two, make sure the socks go above your head, three, 
four, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good, well done. So this one, I want to see if you can do it with one hand. So I want to put one hand behind my back, and I'm going to use the hand I start, I ha it's the hand I start with is going to be my right hand, which is the hand I, I rate with, okay? So, one hand behind your back, get your socks in, the, in your hand that you rate with, and again, it's the same thing, throw the socks up above your head, try and use a soft hand, so soft landing, okay? And keep your eyes on the socks at all time. So you're staying in one spot. So throw them up, good, there's one, two, keep your eyes on them, three, focus, four, five, six, good, seven, keep focusing, eight, nine, and ten. Very good, if you've done all ten, brilliant. Now this time I want you to use your other hand, so the hand that you don't break with. So use that, see the hand you break with, put that behind your back, and let's go. So focus, okay? So throw the sides up above your head, catch it ten times. Let's go. So keep your eyes on the socks. There's one, two, three, good, four, five, Six, good. Seven, eight, good. Keep going. Nine and ten. Well done. Well done if you got all ten using that hand as well, because that's a wee bit harder. Okay, so well done if you got all ten. So now this one. So these are all the challenges. Okay, let's see if you can get ten. See if you can get twenty. See if you can get thirty. It's totally up to you. Okay, so I'm just going to talk you through. So our next one is balancing on one foot and throwing the socks up and catch them. Okay, so what this means is I'm going to stand on my left leg, okay, so I'm going to balance and I'm going to have my socks in my right hand, understand? So I'm going to stand on my left leg, get my arm in from a balance and stand and throw them up, okay? Let's even do five of those, okay, so that's going to be a bit harder, but before you start throwing, make sure you have your balance, alright? Arm out and then let's go. So there's one, keep your eyes on, it's going to be a bit hard. Two, keep your balance. Here we go. Three, good. Four, one more. And five, well done. Well done, you got all five there. It is pretty hard, pretty tricky. So let's try and do our other side now. So I'm going to stop my right leg, arm it from a balance, and I'm going to use my left arm, okay? So get your balance first, and let's go. One, two, keep your balance. Three, whoa. Four and five. Well done, you got all them. This is a bit hard, isn't it? Well done. So, this next one, we've done this one when we played 10, one, loads of 10 in school. So, it's two people in the field, and remember, we have to throw, the, throw the, the ball and have to clap in between. So, this one, we're just going to throw the sacks up in the sky, and we're going to do one clap, second one, two claps. Three claps and see how many claps you can get. Alright, so feet together and just throw the socks up above your head. Do one clap. So here we go. Throw up, clap, catch. There's one. Two claps now. So throw them up. There's two. Good. Three. Good. Four claps. One, two, three, four. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, five. We'll try six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, we'll try seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, oh, I think we got six that time. But it's all depending on the, the head of your ceiling. If you can, go out into your garden and try and you can throw them as high as you can and see how many claps you get. I got six, so well done. Well done, we beat six. Well done, we got six. Well done. All right, so then our next challenge, we're gonna throw the socks over our head and catch it with two hands. So we're gonna stand like this and we'll throw the socks over. Turn around and catch, okay? Socks over, turn around and catch. But try and, stay, try and keep your feet where you are, so my right leg isn't gonna move, so I'm gonna throw them over, step and catch, okay? Let's do 10, do five of those, so do five of those. So throw them over your head, good, twist, good, back, throw them over, back, one, keep your balance, over, good, well done, there's three, four, one more, and five. Now this time we're going to rotate the other leg. Okay, so that time I twisted around my left this way. This time we're going to twist around my right. Okay, five again. So here we go. Swim over. There's one. Back. Two. Catch it with two hands. Good. Three. Well done. Four. Well done. And then five. Very good. Well done. Brilliant. 
And then our next one, next one, all I want us to do is you tighten up your socks, tighten up them again, and then all we're doing is knocking the socks from one hand to the other. All right, so let me see if we can do 10 of those as well. All right, so again, these are all just challenges. So even if you can get the 10, try and get the 20, try and get the 30, and then you can let me know what you've got. You can let your teachers know as well. We may even get a leaderboard or scoreboard up as well, okay? So let's try this one. So again, you're just snapping from say to say, try and get 10 of those. So here we go, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yes, well done. Now this time, can you stand on one foot and do it? So get your balance and try and just do five. One, two, three, four, five. Good, switch over to your other foot. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Well, it is a bit harder. Well done. Okay, so our next one, this is where you're gonna use your towel, all right? So I want you to get your towel and put it in front of you, so just like this. Put it in front. To spread it out, and then I want you to take a couple steps back. Okay, so take a couple back, steps back, create a distance between you and your towel. And all you're doing is you're just going to throw using an underarm throw and try and get down to your socks on the towel. Okay, so it's just like this it's not that it bounces before it hits the towel on the road, and have, you have to try and get it on. Okay, so there's just like that. All right, so use an underarm throw and then just try and land your socks on the towel. Okay, so, and then it's going to be harder because we're going to fold the towel, we're going to make the target area smaller, okay? So you can keep trying this one, it's all day with target practice. So tighten up your balls, there are your balls and socks. And then here we go. So one arm through, don't let them put the socks roll. Okay, so here we go. Yes, there's one. So what I want you to do, I want you to fold it in half, make it smaller, so make it smaller. All right, let's go back. Underarm throw again, nice and soft. Good, well done. I'm saying good to myself. Well done. Make it smaller. Go back. This is going to be a bit harder, okay? So we have to judge it. Go, oh, came off. Have to try it again. Go back. Try and get it on. Good. So this time, make it smaller again. So this is going to be the hard one, alright? So here we go. Underarm through, all right? So here we go. Get it on. Oh, come off. I'm going to give it one more go. One more go. So underarm through. And it's come off. So that one is actually hard for me, so I'm going to need to practice that one. So let me know what you got. Let me know if you if you got all, all the ones, all the folds. Um, and yes, keep practicing if you didn't as well. So listen, they're all just games that you can do at home that focuses on your throwing, your catching and your striking ability as well. So there are challenges, so please keep practicing those. Um, and then next week we'll do different, different skills and different challenges as well. So thank you, well done. Put those to the side for me, well done. So boys and girls, that's us done for our first PE session. I hope you had fun. Um, for our first game we done today was North, South, East, West because we all love that in school. That was our warm up, and then we done our 15 minute high intensity interval training class. So hopefully you got sweaty, hopefully you got out of breath. And now, as I said, when we were doing it, the more we do something like that, the fitter we're going to get. Okay, so we'll do more of that again next week. And then we also work with our socks and our towel on our catching, our throwing, our striking, and our target practice as well. So. Those ones were the socks, I want you to keep practicing those ones. Challenge yourself, see how many you can get. I know we just focused on 10 each one, but you can focus on and try and get 50, try and get 100. Challenge yourself as much as possible. And remember, we had four questions. I'll read out the questions for you again, in case you missed them. So, the first question is, which county is Mr. Parry from? So, which county is Mr. Parry from? The second one is, who does Mr. Parry blame for the loss of his hair? So who does Mr. Parry blame for the loss of his hair? Third one is, who is the candy snatcher? So who's the candy snatcher? Who's stealing all the sweets? And then the fourth one is, what teacher loves listening to the Space Girls? 
So who I want to know that one, who loves this in the space girls? So if you know those answers, let your teachers know and then your teachers can tell me if they got them right or not, okay? So listen, everyone, boys and girls, thank you so much. Thank you for doing this today's lesson. And I'll see you all again next week for more, alright? So well done, give yourself a round of applause. And then go and have a lie down if you need one, alright? So well done everyone, I'll see you all soon. Well done, trio.